here I am. I'm going to try to play this guitar. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, first, we've got to get this amplifier set up. Because I don't have um, a charger for it yet. But I'm going to get one sooner or later. Yeah. Really, the purpose of this program, Welcome to Servant of Christ Podcast, is to spread the gospel in the Orthodox Church and um, have a means to critique my own guitar playing. Because, I, you know, I really can't afford a teacher. So, why not use this medium, which is... Uh, YouTube. I upload these videos in YouTube so that I can go back and watch them and see just how the playing is going. Because I'm, I'm trying to teach myself to play, uh, in case you haven't noticed. Um, I'm not really that great of a player. So, I mean, I know stuff, but uh, I'm not very smooth at times. I guess most guitar players are their own worst critic. Um, we have to face that. If you play guitar, you mainly your own worst critic. Everybody else like, I don't see anything wrong with what you're doing. But you're like, ah, you know, I'm not doing good enough. Yeah, and I guess that's the uh, constant, um, uh, what's the term, um, where conundrum. I don't always think of the words right off. But uh, it's a constant conundrum with people that play musical instruments. Is that they are never quite satisfied with it, what they're doing. So, um, yeah. But you know what? There's another option we can have, and that is to just have fun. Whether we screw up or whether we don't, just have fun. So, without any further ado, glory to Jesus Christ. Christ has ascended. <laughs>
Well, I got that out of my system, didn't I? Uh, like I said, you know, I'm not perfect. I trip over these strings, but um, I guess the whole purpose is if you want to um, be an accomplished guitar player, I mean, you want to be able to get out and, you know, play along with other people with some, some success, then uh, it's just to keep going over it and over it and over it and over it, whether you trip or not. Uh, that's how babies learn how to walk, right? I mean, they get up and they walk a few steps, and really pretty, and then they get all wobbly and then they fall down. Then they get up and they try it again until finally, at some point in their life, they learn how to walk. So, I don't think guitar playing is very much different than that. So, anyway, keep the faith, children. Uh, he's going to come back very soon. You know, we get, we're looking around us. We see that there, there's um, a general um, state in this country of lawlessness, which means um, that most people nowadays um, that are not serving the Lord... Um, have or a lot and I'm not going to say most because I don't want to be the judge but there's a lot of people who um, seem to think that it's okay for them to do anything they want anytime they want no matter what no matter who it hurts at any time they want um, so we're in the day of the appearance of the lawless one he's the one who sets his own law he is his own God and uh, Abbot Trifon, God bless him, is uh, right on the mark. He said that we're in a great scourge of atheism in this country. But he said, is it really atheism or is it just worship of a different God, which is a God of themselves? And they get to make the rules. They get to decide what is right and wrong. You see, if you have, we I don't know how many million people we have in the United States alone. Um, let's say for, uh, just for the sake of this uh, program in this topic in this talk that um, we have 350 million people in the United States of America now if you had a country of 350 million even just a very small amount compared to China and, and India of 350 million people everybody doing whatever they want anytime they want and what they do is what they seem right what seems right in their own eyes you see uh, the chaos and the the, the evil that that will is quickly degenerate down into it'll descend into a bottomless pit so if there is no law then there is no culture no civilization no life on earth nothing it's got to be some sort of rule and laws whether it's laws of physics laws of nature laws of god which are trump and top over all who has given all everything the power to be in existence. Now, there's a flagrant violation and thumbing of the noses uh, against the law of God. So now, anything goes. I mean, like I said, this is very extreme, but uh, they even talked about putting litter boxes in classrooms so the kids could defecate in them if they identified as animals. How foolish. We have to bring them up. We have to train them in the way they will go. You want them to grow up and be nothing but animals? You want to let them identify as that? Are you out of your minds? It's time to wake up, people. It's time to repent. Time to turn ourselves back to God. If not, we're going down the spiral, um, whirlpool down the drain into the abyss of perdition. Please, folks, get on your knees and ask the Lord to forgive us in our land. That we may put Christ first. We may may repent and put Jesus back into our lives. Otherwise, we are going down the tubes. What do you get? What do you get when you raise children? It's like when you raise children on candy, what do you get? You get a bunch of adults that eat sweets all the time. And you raise your kids on violent games and violent programming on television and in and, and, and music and so forth. Then what do you expect? You're going to it's like seeds planted into the ground. You're going to reap a harvest of that that you plant. If we plant evil seeds into the ground, we will reap an evil harvest. Be sure that God is not mocked. And whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Keep that in mind, folks. You see a country going down to hell in a handbasket, you want to understand they've thrown Christ away. They don't want Christ. They, uh, I heard uh, recently in, in, in one of the elections in the past here, recent past, that they booed Christ off the stage of the Democratic Convention. What a shame. 
thrown the Ten Commandments out, thrown prayer out of schools, and booed God off stage. What evil seeds are you planting for yourself to, to harvest later? I pray that we will give our hearts back to God as a nation. It's time to, it's time to wake up and give our hearts back to God. Get off of this craziness. Otherwise, there was over 200 killings between mass killings in this country between January and April or something like that. There was some kind of a figure that way. Who's ever heard of such a thing? Let's pray hard, folks. Give our heart and life back to Christ. I say that with all love and with all urgency. Christ has, Christ is arisen. And Christ is ascended into glory. And he, Christ, will come back again to judge the living and the dead. He's coming back, folks. Are you ready to meet him? 